Hey everybody, I, I thought I'd kind of give you guys a little heads up. I'm not sure uh, how many of you um, are really aware. Um, when you solder, uh, depending on whether you use lead or unleaded, I still use uh, the uh, uh, standard um, uh, 63, uh, I believe this is uh, 6337 uh, alloy. Um, and it is rosin core flux and uh, without flux you can't really solder properly you're going to get uh, cold joints the solder doesn't stick it uh, there's just a lot of things you need the wetting agent which is uh, uh, the flux that's in the solder but that burns off as soon as you see the smoke go away the flux is gone and it only lasts for a second or two what i always do is i have additional flux that uh, I add um, and it's it's uh, just basically rosin uh, with uh, um, isopropyl alcohol and, and you can buy flux um, at a lot of the electronic uh, distributors but it's it's kind of pricey and you know um, it could sit there and, and uh, evaporate before you even get a chance to use it all up what I do is I buy uh, uh, I've bought a pound of um, pine gum rosin and I use that to make my own. I get these little bottles here with the brush built in, I think at Michael's, uh, if not you can find them online. And what I do is I uh, put a couple of pieces of rosin in there. The amount is not, is not uh, um, uh, precise. Uh, the more the better. You want to get a nice amber uh, look out of uh, the um, uh, uh, rosin to um, uh, alcohol mix. But uh, what you do is you drop the stuff in there and uh, you just let it uh, dissolve. You know, usually it'll dissolve overnight, especially if you use it like 91 or 99 percent isopropyl. You can use 70, but it'll take a little bit longer to um, uh, um, dissolve. The rosin, um, but uh, I mean, this is just something I don't know if a lot of people are aware of. Uh, without the flux, your soldering is going to be horrible, and uh, uh, it'll just be very frustrating. With the flux, boy, your solder just uh, turns out nice and shiny. And uh, if you're using lead base, if you're using the unleaded, uh, it'll still look uh, uh, a little dull, but it'll be a good solder joint. So. Uh, if I can give you guys a recommendation, this stuff is only like about, I think, seven, eight bucks uh, on uh, Amazon, and it'll last you God, years, and it's not going to go bad. Whereas if you buy a jug of um, flux, by the time you use it all up, it's, 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 it's going to go bad. So here you can make it as you need it, and when you don't need it or you're still working with what you've got here, I, I a lot of times just add some rosin pieces to this and top off the um, uh, alcohol and uh, I don't think I've uh, um, uh, done a, a fresh bottle in, in quite a while. I just keep adding a little bit of rosin to this and topping it off with isopropyl and as long as I keep a nice um, nice rich amber uh, uh, look uh, it's it's uh, plenty good flux uh, for uh, soldering with. So. A little uh, FYI if you guys didn't know, and uh, I hope it helps out. Talk to you later. Bye.